and let's get started. I'm going to be using a natural jute cord, two ply, to make these coasters. I picked up mine from the local dollar store, but you could probably just about buy it anywhere. Let's start with a magic circle. There are many ways to make a magic circle. Maybe just find one that's best for you, but this is how I do mine. Once you have your circle, we can start with a chain two. This will count as our first stitch. We are then going to put 11 double crochet into our magic circle. Take your time with this. Sometimes I found working with jute, it can get a little sticky feeling, but if you just take your time, keep your stitches nice and loose, you'll be able to get it done. This one here we'll be working on is number five. Here we have eight, and then nine, ten, and one more. This will be number eleven. Then we can grab our end and pull it snug. We are going to do a slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. So this is our first chain, this is our second chain, and this is the top of the double crochet. So in there, let's make our slip stitch. So for our first round, we will have 12 stitches. We can chain two to start the next row. So this chain two will also count as our first stitch. We will then put our first double crochet in that same stitch. Then let's put two double crochet in each stitch. So that's one and two. Again, we have one and two in each stitch from the round below. We will see you at the end. So here we have our last two spaces. So this will be stitch 21 and 22, so that's 21, 22, and then the last one, stitch 23 and 24. Again, we're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. So that's our chain two, and this is the top here. So round two will equal 24 stitches. For our next round, we'll start again with a chain two, and again, this will count as our first stitch. We are going to skip that first one, and we're going to put our double crochet into the next. And then we're going to put another double crochet into that same stitch. So our increase pattern will be one double crochet, 
and then two double crochets in the next stitch and we're going to continue this all the way around. Let's do one more together. So one double crochet and two double crochet. So one and then the second one in that same stitch. We'll catch up back at the beginning. So here you will see we have two more spots left. So this will be for our last one. That's the one double crochet. And in that last stitch, the two double crochet. And this one. And then we will do a slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. So right in there. So round three will equal 36 stitches. Do not cut your yarn. The jute will sit flat or you can even iron it because it is quite flexible and once we put the edge on it, it will sit flat as well. At this point we can actually weave in our beginning yarn. So the magic circle, pull it snug and then with your darning needle, weave in your end. If you'd like, you could also do an extra row on this circle. Your next row would actually be a one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two in the next if you wanted to put that fourth row in for that increase. But we're gonna stop at this one here, but if you wanna make them wider, for like a pot to put on or anything else around the house or to make it any other size, you could add more rows at this time. But for the three rows, this will be the start for all of the coasters. I will show you each coaster individually. We'll start with number one for the edge. So this will be coaster number one. So with our cotton yarn, we're going to bring that in. So starting with our first three rows of our jute, we're gonna start with a chain two. We will then add the cotton yarn. So just hold the cotton yarn in the back right now of your work. We will do a yarn over with the cotton and we're gonna insert that into the very first stitch. So that very first stitch there. So not the same stitch, but the first one. And we're gonna pull up a loop. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two. And we're gonna make sure that that jute is being carried over. We're going to do the same thing and we're gonna work into that same stitch as well. So again, yarn over, insert into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, and we're gonna pull through two. So now you'll have two stitches plus your beginning stitch on your hook. We're gonna do this for five total. Again, we're just pulling through the first two and stopping. So now we have three on our hook. This will be the fourth one. Yarn over, pull through two. And let's do one more.
So you should now have five of the cotton yarn on the hook and your beginning stitch of jute. So we will now drop the white yarn to the front and pick up the jute. We will yarn over and pull through all six loops. We're then going to do a chain to close it. In the next stitch, we will do a half double crochet. So make sure you're carrying the yarn below, the cotton yarn, and let's do a half double crochet. So now starting with the next one, we will drop the jute yarn to the back. Still carrying it though, and then we will have the white cotton yarn to the front. So we drop the jute, pick up the cotton, and this is just like starting all over again. We will start by yarning over, going into the next stitch, and we will do a yarn over, pull through two, and we will do this five times. That's number three. This will be number four. Five. Let's drop the white yarn to the front, pick up the jute, yarn over, and pull through all six. And chain to close, and then a half double crochet in the next stitch. Let's do another one together. Drop the jute to the back, pick up the white yarn, starting with the yarn over, and we have one, two, Three, four, and one more in there. We have five. Drop the white to the front. Pick up the jute and pull through all six. Close with a chain. And again, another half double crochet. We will continue this all the way around until we have 18 cluster or popcorn stitches. So now I have 17 of the clusters and we'll finish off and do number 18 together. So this is the half double crochet to finish off number 17. And we still have one space left to put the 18th cluster in there. So pick up our white yarn and let's do our other last cluster in here. So here, this is number three. And number four, and of course it didn't pick all the yarn up. Let's try that one again. Okay, so this will be number four, 
and one more, number five. So we will still pick up the jute, finish this off, do the chain, and then we're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two space that was at the very beginning. So just find that top of the chain two and let's do a slip stitch in there to join our work. And there you have it. So you should have the 18 clusters all the way around. We can then cut our yarn and weave the ends. Your finished size is about a 5 inch diameter or 13 centimeter. You can leave it just like this because it's such a beautiful coaster, or we can add some fringe. To add the fringe, we will cut pieces that are 5 inches or 13 centimeters long. We're going to attach it so it looks like this. So we're going to take four strands together and we're going to put them in to the half double crochet spot of the coaster. So let's fold it in half and we're going to go into every other half double crochet. And then we can insert our hook from the back through the half double crochet. We can then pull up the loops and then pull our ends through the loop. I like to individually just give each end a pull to make sure it's nice and even as it comes out and it tightens up good. So just keep tugging on each one until the entire thing is tight. So if you just give it each a little pull. And I can still see that one end is not quite pulled in there. Let me see if I can just find the right one. There it is. There. So now it's tied on nicely. Let's continue all the way around with our fringes. Once you have it all on there, you can trim to whatever length you like. So I usually give each one a little trim.
and then you can also separate each strand. So sometimes you can just use your fingers and just separate the strands, just like this. Or you could use a darning needle or as well, even a comb. So here it is just with your fingers, pulling them apart. Or this is how you can separate it with a darning needle. or using a fine tooth comb. I find this way works really well for the cotton. Once you have finished combing out all the fringe, you can give the edge another trim. You can leave it like this or add more fringe. I put it on every half double crochet and I really liked that look. So here you have it. Which one is your favorite? Let's do coaster number two. So we have the same beginning three rows of the jute. So if you have to rewind and go to the beginning, and then we're gonna do the second edge. So here we have our beginning spot. To start, we're just gonna remove our slip stitch that we did to join, and then we're gonna join in our other yarn. So still insert your hook into the top of the first double crochet and we're going to do a slip stitch but we're going to pick up the white cotton yarn. So we're going to pick up that yarn and slip stitch it in. So let's start with a chain one. We're then going to do a single crochet in that same stitch. So inserting into the same stitch, let's do a single crochet. We're then going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You'll have a total of 36 stitches. Once you've gone all the way around, we're going to put a slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. We can then pick up both yarns. So picking both of them up, we're going to start with a chain one. We are then going to do a reverse single crochet all the way around. This will be our first stitch that we go into. So make sure that when you put your hook in, you go into the back part of it, pull up a loop, Make sure you pull up a little bit of extra and then yarn over and pull through. So that is your reverse single crochet. Again, you're going to go behind. 
So make sure you have a little bit of extra for the loop. Go behind, grab your yarn, pull it up, and then yarn over and pull through. Continue the stitch all the way around. To finish, we will insert into the starting single crochet. So go all the way around until you end up to that very first single crochet. So there was our last one and now we're going to insert into that right there. So inserting our hook, we'll still do a reverse single crochet. And finish. And then we can cut our yarn and pull through. Weave your ends. Our finished size is about 5 inches or 13 centimeters. And again, you can leave it like this as a really beautiful coaster, or we can add fringe. So to add the fringe, we're going to cut little strips 5 inches or 13 centimeters long. We're going to attach it like this. So we're going to attach it to the back on the, on the single crochet row. So I will be putting the fringe into every fourth stitch and into the loop of the single crochet. So finding that fourth stitch, and then I'm just going to pick up that one back part of the loop of the single crochet. So if you insert your hook there, you can then take four strands, fold them in half, and pull the loop through. This did get easier as I went along, but this first couple just kind of struggled for some reason. But get those loops pulled through. If you can find an easier way, by all means, but there we go. So once you have the loop through, then you can pull the ends through the loop. Once I pull the ends through, I like to give each one individually a tug just to make sure it gets tightened on there correctly.
So once you have all of the fringe attached, you can comb out the strands and trim. Or again, you could double it up so it looks like this. So either way, the coaster will look beautiful. Let's do coaster number three. So again, we've started with our first three rows. We're just going to pull out that last um, slip stitch to join and we're going to pull in our new yarn. So going back into the top of that last double crochet, this time we will pull up our white cotton yarn. So we will pull the white yarn up to finish this slip stitch. So just grab it and pull it through all the way. Just give them each a little tug there. And we can actually take our jute and we can cut it. We'll tie it in at the end. So with the cotton yarn, we'll start with the chain one. We're then going to do a slip stitch in that same stitch. So let's do a slip stitch right in that same one. We're then going to skip one stitch. So we're going to skip one and we're going to start in the next. So to start, we're going to start with a half double crochet. And then we're going to do three double crochet and this will all be in the same stitch. So there's one double crochet. And two. And one more double crochet for three. And then a half double crochet. So all in the same space. Then we will skip one stitch and we will do a slip stitch in the next. And now we're going to repeat. So we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to do half double crochet, three double crochet, and a half double crochet. Skip a stitch and a slip stitch in the next. Skip a stitch and then repeat. So skip and let's do it again. Let's repeat all the way around. I'll see you at the end. Once you have finished, you should have nine um, edgings. And we're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first chain.
We can then cut the yarn, pull through, and weave your ends. The finished size will be about 5 inches or 13 centimeters. You can leave it like this or we can add the fringe. So let's add some fringe. Cut your fringe pieces about 5 inches or 13 centimeters long. For this coaster I wanted to have jute for a fringe. So let's put jute on it instead. So still cut the same amount of sizes and I'm adding it to the slip stitch that's in the middle. So insert your hook from the back through the slip stitch. Fold your jute in half and pull through. So once you have pulled up a loop, you can then pull the ends through. Again, just pull each piece individually until it is completely tight. Trim your strands and then you can separate them. I find this one is just easier to do with your fingers. So what I do is I just untwist so because it's just two ply so I give it a little untwist and I pull it apart. You can always give it that extra trim at the end. Which one do you like better? Oh my gosh, they're both so cute. Let's do coaster number four. So starting with the same three rows. Again, we're just gonna pull out that last slip stitch because we're gonna join the white cotton. We're going to slip stitch to join, but we're going to pull up the white cotton. So putting your hook into the top of the double crochet. And slip stitch. And with that white cotton, we will start with a chain one. And we can now also just cut the jute. For this pattern we will start in the same stitch. So we're going to start with a single crochet in that first same stitch and then we're going to chain two. We will then skip one stitch 
and single crochet in the next. And I did not chain two, so let me just go back. Sorry about that, so it should be a chain two. Then skip a stitch and single crochet. And just repeat that pattern all the way around. So chain two, skip one, single crochet. Make sure that you have 18 spaces all the way around. So I need to add one more stitch in here. The chain two, and then I will slip stitch to join in the top of that first single crochet. For the next round, we're actually going to work into the chain two spaces. So we will start with a slip stitch and then chain three. So one, two, three. We're then going to slip stitch in that second chain. So one, two, we're going to do a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one and then slip stitch back down into that same space. This creates a little pico stitch and is really nice for a trim. So let's do another one. Slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch into the second chain, and then chain one, and then slip stitch back down into the space. Let's do another one together. I'll meet you back around at the beginning. So here is our last one. So in that last space, slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch in the second chain, and then a chain one, 
and a slip stitch back down into the space. And from there, we can just cut our yarn, pull through, and weave in the ends. You can always give these coasters a press with the iron to make them nice and flat. So our finished size for this one again is going to be about 5 inches or 13 centimeters. So we can leave it like this or add the fringe. So for this fringe again we're going to cut the pieces that are 5 inches or 13 centimeters long and for this particular coaster I did it the alternating so I wanted to alternate with the cotton and the jute. So you're going to want to insert your hook from the back into the slip stitch that's in between the peaks. So make sure you get into that slip stitch part. So if you just have a look, it should just be under two of them. So have a look. Sometimes I've just poked into the front just to make sure I've got the right spot. And then going through the back, making sure you're just going under that slip stitch. So we'll fold four strands in half and pull up a loop. We can then pull our ends through. And then give each one of our ends a little tug until your knot is nice and tight. We can then trim our ends and comb out the fringe. You can always leave the coaster as is, which is just beautiful, or add the fringe. So for the four coasters and fringe, I use just over half of the jute and about three quarters of the cotton yarn. You can use any type of yarn for this project. Please watch to the very end and look at all the fun and amazing coasters that can be made. Have fun and be creative. Here's one that was made out of just some acrylic yarn. Here's one that's got a little more fluffiness to it. So pretty. And here I've made one a little bit different. I started the center stitches a bit different and actually went into the back side of the loop just to create a different texture. And again, this one here actually looks like a saw blade. Here's some of my earlier ones. And 
You can even alternate your inside loop, starting with cotton, then going to jute, then cotton. This one I made with the plush velvet yarn. So soft and great for keeping your coffee warm. This I actually made out of some cording. Really interesting texture. Beautiful burnt orange colors. This I did a combination of cotton and acrylic. Another one with some cotton and acrylic. This one was one of my first ones as well and I just did a spiral pattern in the middle. Very nice to put a teapot on. If you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button and we hope to see you soon. Thanks!